we are not playing hide and seek, all right? This is like a... This is like a very, like, I'm going to murder you type of hide and seek, which is not one I am a fan of. Ah! Yeah, Jesus! <laughs> Hello, Vegetable Reverend. Post-editing disabled guy here. I thought I'd just mention, I checked my analytics recently and it occurred to me that a large number of you who have watched my videos are not actually subscribed. So, if you guys want to support my work and let me know if you enjoy it, please hit that big red subscribe button. Just one click and it lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing. Uh, hit the notification bell as well if you want to be notified, because YouTube doesn't want to notify people when I upload. Seems to be a big problem. But hey, this happens to our festivals. So, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello, Vegetable Reverend. My name is Dr. Samuel Guy, and we are back exactly where we left off in the last video, where we couldn't seem to get past and find where the hell Rose was, because apparently she's fucking Houdini, and I cannot find her. I'm fast as fuck, boy. So it's slightly annoying, she's pulling an L Tapper on me. I can't believe you pulled the no job on. But we should be able to find her in this video, I hope. So let's just go out this room, the dark dingy hole. Which basically sums up my life, really. So. Go, oh, he's up already, god. Jimmy, I've just started. Give me, cut me some slack, would you? Can I get in this room? And it's dark again. Dude, Jimmy? Don't think he's gonna come in this room. He's right there, yeah. So, I don't think it is here then, but the compass pointed this way. I could be right, and he's back already. He's very, like, he's so aggressive now, I don't know what to do. Right, so, sorry about the weird cut. I had to, uh, do something. Um, so. Jimmy is definitely there. Definitely here, the bald fucker, but... <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head! Ah, oh, God damn it, that made me jump. Come on, just get out of it. Okay. Oh my God, he's not letting up, is he? Oh, fuck it, he's gonna get me, I don't care. Don't even have the box anyway. Oh, bollocks. Back in this room again, guys. Stage of who? But I need to get back to the first floor. Because I don't have my box anymore. I'm boxless. Right, risk it for a chocolate biscuit, or maybe Jimmy will fist it, I don't know. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's what she said! <laughs> keep going. Oh my god, Jimmy's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. I just saw him. Did you guys see him? Did I did. Uh, 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 one. Oh god, that gave me the image of it. Get right there and swear out the corner of my eye, I just tip myself. Give me just a possibility when you are disabled. So, let's go and get my box back. Jimmy shouldn't be on this floor yet, I hope. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. There we go, my glorious box. Here we go. Go, that doesn't sound wrong, I don't know what does. Alright. Check my mirror, check how sexy I am. So, let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's Rose again. Yeah, I know you're here, but I can't find you. Okay, can't find the woman. That's the story of most men. Okay, so... There's a... Dark hallway. Helpful. Yeah, floor three, I gathered that much. Okay, so that basically showed me 
about as much as I know about existence. So that wasn't helpful. Go back up, I guess. Can see what Jimmy has in store for our asses. Probably a lot of punishment and death. Which sounds like I'm crawling over, you know, whatever. Oh, I mean, for some really fucked up individuals. Okay, Jimmy! Jimmy, please don't touch me! Jimmy! Don't really appreciate it if you didn't touch me, Jimmy! Because I'm not really a fan of it, Jimmy! Oh no, I'm dead! He's behind me, he's behind me, he's behind me, he's behind me. Guys, I'm dead! Yeah, I'm dead, yeah. Fucking knew it. Okay, I don't know where the compass is sending me. Drag through the hallway. Drag it through a video. Kojima hits me and I wake up in a place that I don't know. Alright, so... I lost my box again. Give me back in a minute, guys. Stop! Box time! Oh yay, so... Back up the floor, free we go. I don't remember we saw mannequins on floor free, but... Then after that, I'm kind of lost on what we are meant to actually do. Jimmy seems to be only on floor three at the moment, so could be an offer two. Okay, guys, what I'm going to try is I'm going to go left instead and see if that changes anything. Because I'm sure I have checked everywhere for where Rose is. If you guys know where she is, please uh, leave it in the comments if I don't get this video because it's actually really getting on my tits. Just trying to mirror again. I'm looking at the same guy in the mirror. Okay, that's a different road angle, okay. So I'm gonna go back to where we were in that hallway again and just see if it worked this time. Because last time it didn't want to work. Ha! Ah, fucking hell! You bald headed prick! Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, God, that was a good run. Jeez. Okay. If that didn't scare the shit out of you, I don't know what I did, because it fucking scared the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. All right. Back to get the box. Take three. So you are really fucking with... By Feng Shui right now. My Zen has been corroded by Gumbrold Antics. And I do not like it. Don't be mean to this disabled little cripple I am. Because I'm joking, by the way. It doesn't excuse you for being insulted. Just, yeah. no, you're not that special. Alright, so what I'm going to do go to the stairs. Which some means they're locked. I have no keys. Oh. Got on me, you turn around. Ask a question. Is anyone there? Is someone there? Why can't you? I don't. Understand. Is someone there? Tell me what's happening. Hello? There we go. It took me ages to figure that out. If you guys knew about that already, I am sorry. Jesus, I'm a retard. Well, technically, I am. I mean, I am in the same regard. But... No, I'm not saying 10 people are retarded because. Then we're not all. 
It's not true. But, uh, I can say, because I'm the same, but that's how political correctness works, right? Do it? Yes, I think so. Is it Rose? Is it Rose, baby? Yeah. Rose is really smell like boop, boop, boop. Yeah. I saw you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? Jimmy. I didn't okay. He was too confused, okay. Okay, what do you do? What? Uh, where, where, where was it? Jesus? Tear that posters, okay, probably gonna go to the theatre again. That's what that looked like. Okay. Hello? You gone? Rose gone? Get Rosie Posey! Didn't want to impose Posey! Ah! What do you want, Jimmy? Jimmy! Jimmy back! When are you coming back? Jimmy! Can you... Please... Stop saying that! We are not playing hide and seek, alright? This is like a... This is like a very, like, I'm gonna murder you type of hide and seek, which is not... One I am a fan of. Ah! Ah, Jesus! Fucking Christ! He got me again, the bastard! Go away, Jimmy. I don't like you. We can't be friends. Your bald head disturbs me and you keep smacking me with a bat. Me, no likey. Disabled guy, don't likey. Where the hell am I? Is a question I ask myself every day of my life. Uh, can I get my box now, please? Because I need to speak to dead people. I guess that makes me sound schizophrenic, but oh well. Maybe I am, or maybe I'm a robot. What if I was a robot and I didn't know it? That's a Loki reference. That was a very good episode. Give me hasn't seen that yet. Yeah, I just go watch it. It's very good. I thought the episode was pretty good. I was really interesting, and also, I am a big fan of the character Loki because, uh, don't know, it, it's very good character in general. But I think the actor is it Tom Hiddleston? Don't know. I think I'm right. But he, he's, he's great character, great casting. It was very good. I dropped my little two cents on that as I watched it the other day. Oh yeah, I was right. Oh, the people are booing. Oh, no. Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. Oh, so sad. Oh, boo. Boo, 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 boo. All right, so. Let's see what's going on with old Jimmy boy here. Here we go. You guys ready for the stage show? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it backstage? It's so, so quiet. Is it in here? It's just Bro. his comedy routine. Rose, Jesus, his there you are. His sense of humour. Oh, I'm sorry if you've been offended. Uh, excuse me. But he's not a sense of humour. He's murdering people. That's not a sense of humour. That's assault. Telling a joke is it assault. The bloody... Trying to murder your fucking hotel guest is. Is it Rose? Yes. Oh, hello, Rose. Okay, what's going on with you, Rose? I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologising. What was happening? God did Jimmy do it. <laughs> he seemed to be enjoying it. And one night after the show, a guest told Jimmy what she thought of Was he as yes, he saw them were joking? He lost his temper. He did something stupid. Oh god, what did he do? Uh the coil wire. What was the coil of wire used for? 
Maybe. Ah, okay. Okay, I bet it is. I bet he lost his temper, and because he carried around Raya, which is most of the time, he probably used it to strangle the guy. When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something That's stupid, what I think. is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Could be wrong, let me know in the comments. Jimmy her in a room yeah, I was right, yeah. He tied her up. What do you do? A joke. Why not? I would have. Oh, it just turned on the police. Alright, so. Did Jimmy. Hello? Answer the phone. Hello? Uh. Can I answer the phone? Don't wait to do that. Yeah. Do the doorbell. Okay, I'm confused. Where's the actual door? Okay, it's actually annoying me now. What, where is it? Guess I know, but there's no one here. What? Maybe I need to go over here and then turn around. Okay, no, uh, guys, am I, am I being stupid? Am I being a dum-dum? Am I being a disabled dum-dum? Like, answer the door. Ah, oh, here we go. It's in here. It's in this door. No. No. Okay. Is it this door? Not this time. No. Is it this way? There's Rose. There she is. Oh, she didn't answer the door. She went in and hid in the room like a little... Because she was scared of what I said. Is it Is it... Well... Well, I'm a dead person that you're going to be talking to. Just say. Is Do you regularly nice? talk to a lot of dead people? Yes. Right, so why did you not answer the door? I saw you upset. People were knocking on the door asking questions. Who were they? Press, please. Journalists. They wanted Jimmy. But Jimmy wasn't in control. It was Hugo Punch who tied the woman up. I'm can't blame it on, like, saying it was someone else. He just wanted to leave everything behind and go. Probably should have let him if he was that fucking messed up. Take the therapy or something, jeez. Alright, so it's a he good bye note. That says That's him. Keep trying to run away. Jimmy wrote it. Or maybe he hated the fact he had a split personality. Keith wanted to leave, maybe it was a split personality thing. Just still, it doesn't excuse the actions. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go... To go to therapy or something, or mental health high levels. I don't know what they call it these days, like a mental place. Institution. Oh, so it was a suicide note, is that what it was? Okay. Is he trying to drown himself? Okay, floor two. Okay, so we need to go to floor two. Alright, floor two I guess it is, guys. Oh, that's interesting. So... 
because of his strict personality, because he did that awful thing, he hated that he did it, so he wanted to just leave or give up or... I don't know what the note said, but... Either he just tried to commit suicide, or... Maybe he's wanted to run away. Interesting. It's, the story of this is pretty good. I'm just quite interested and invested. Alright guys, I think that's all I have time for today. Uh, we actually know a lot more about Jimmy and what's happening with him. With his like split personality mental thing going on. So that's why he's been tired people up and attacking people and all that shit. And he actually hated the fact that he did it after he realised what he did. So he wrote a note to say goodbye to his mother. Either implying he wanted to run away or maybe commit suicide or something really dark like that. Don't know. We were implying we found Rose finally. Because that took me ages because I was being a big dum dum. So that wasn't great. But we found it in the end. Learned some more about Jimmy and his mother. Very fascinating, actually. It's actually quite interesting. The most got invested to see what happens at the end. So if you guys are excited for the end of this series soon, probably in the next episode or two, depending on how quick we get through it. So leave a like if you want to see the next part of this. Leave a comment on what you thought in the video, or give you ideas what you think I could do in the video, or maybe give your theories of what you think is going to happen next. Links are in the description for everything. Check out my Patreon if you want to support my work. Look out my Discord where you can all join the Vegetable Nation and be part of the group and you know, have fun, talk to each other, you know. Make some love. No. Not like that, you dirty bastard. Check out my merch. You want to buy some merch? If there's any merch you've got to add, let me know. Check out my Red Bubble, where I also feature my artwork that I create, like, every couple of months or so, like, an art piece a month, lovely. Or maybe every few months, I don't know. The time schedule is a bit off at the moment, because my health was really a bit up and down. Thank you guys for watching. Links to everything will be in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time, Vegetable Brethren. My name is Dr. Sable Guy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!